Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about floating columns in building structures. A floating column is a type of column which is constructed over beam or slab of any intermediate floors of the structure. These columns are not attached to any footing. Floating columns also known as hanging columns. A floating column is also known as hanging column or stub column that stands over the beam component of the structure. The purpose of a regular column is to transmit the load to the foundation or to the column underneath and then to foundations. But a floating does not transfer the load directly. The floating column is arranged on the first floor or top floors or any of the intermediate floors on the basis of the requirements in the architectural design of the relevant structure. The floating column is positioned in such a manner that it simply floats or is being suspended over a base, beam or slab, devoid of any fixed support underneath the foundation. The load transfer in any building is usually from slab to beams to columns and then foundation. But a floating column instead of transferring the load to foundation transfers the load onto the beam. The beam on which the floating column rests transfers the load to the columns below. The load is transferred in the form of a point load. Need of floating column Nowadays multi-story building construction for residential, industrial, or commercial purpose has become a common feature. These multi-story building need ample of parking or open spaces below. In multi-story residential building to accommodate for the number of parking places and the turning radius, some of the columns from the floors above create a problem. In these cases, these columns are designed as floating columns. Even in commercial building there might be a need for conference hall or banquet hall on the lower floors. For these purposes we prefer to have a clear open space rather than having columns in between. This is where floating columns come into the picture. Floating columns gives the liberty to alter the floor plans above. How are floating columns incorporated in the structure? Like in any structure, the load from the floors above is transferred to the column. The entire load is then transferred to the beam on which the floating column is going to rest. The floating column is designed as regular column. The beam on which it rests is designed as a beam carrying all the load of the column as a single point load. Floating Column and Earthquake The lateral forces due to earthquake need to be transferred to the foundation through clear force transfer path. This force transfer path is disrupted in case of floating columns. These floating columns attract a lot of seismic force which is unfavorable in the high seismic zone. 
the floating columns act well when only vertical forces are considered. But they are highly undesirable for lateral forces such as earthquake. It is highly discouraged to have floating columns in high seismic zone regions. But even then, we see a lot of buildings be it residential, commercial, or industrial using floating columns in their construction. And the only reason being the flexibility to alter the plan above or below to suit the client requirement. This is where our knowledge and art of structural engineering comes into play. So, in this situation, it is the job of structural engineers like us to ensure that such buildings are not only analyzed properly but the detailing of such buildings is also done properly. Detailing of the steel becomes a crucial part of floating column construction. Load Transfer in Floating Columns the load transfer mechanism in the floating column is totally different from ordinary columns. Floating columns don't transfer load directly to the foundation, instead of that they transfer load to the beam or slab on which they are constructed and load acts as a point load. Advantages and Disadvantages of Floating Column the floating column is undesirable in building construction. Some of the reasons are Increased story displacement in buildings Attract seismic forces extensively There is no continuity with the above and below floors making it vulnerable. Still floating column is used due to following advantages. The plan can be varied on each floor. Construction of soft story. Architectural importance. In areas where the floating column cannot be ignored, they are designed carefully by the structural engineers. The supporting girders must also be designed with higher shear capacity or as deep beams. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.